We want to leave behind a legacy, we want to leave behind a name. 10, 20 years from now, when they talk about social outcasts, they know we are. We change the whole history of how people perceive hawkers. People think that when it comes to like halal food, it's just the typical meal boys. Halal food doesn't just mean orders. It can be a really good burger. Okay, one beef, one potobalo, one and one, potto. one crispy chicken skin. Skin now. Thank you. Potto, skin. Beef how long? Beef four minutes. Potobalo how long? Potto, one and a half. Stay alive, boys. Stay alive. We are selling premium burgers in a heartland area whereby we want to bring high-end quality food down to a more affordable price tag. The unique selling point with the social outcast is that we are using copa oven. It's actually a charcoal oven that doesn't use gas, doesn't use electricity. And the charcoal that we are using is ogatan. We smoke it together with hickory wood. So that leaves this smoky after a taste whenever you bite into a burger. There's this brand new experience that like you don't find in most burger joints in Singapore. Pure wok hay. Every single uh, burger on our menu is actually very different. If you look at it, we do have our premium beef and we have our regular beef. And we do have like fish options, lamb, chicken and even vegetarian options like sesame mayo potobalo. We use brioche bun. So brioche bun is usually used in high-end restaurants and hotels as well. But what we are trying to do here is to make sure that all our ingredients are all high, good quality ingredients. That's what we are trying to do here, to bring in good quality food down to a more affordable price tag. We decided to go with the name The Social Outcast because in life, we just want the society acceptance. Truth is, we are weird in our own ways. What we're going to do with social outcasts in terms of food and burgers, we are bringing in different qualities in a different environment altogether. We are rewriting how people view a hawker is and how quality food in a hawker place is. We want to represent no matter what we do, there's no boundary, there's no rules and regulation. Who say we can't bring a charcoal oven into a coffee shop? Or who says premium high quality food has to be expensive? It's okay to be weird. Yeah, it's okay to be weird. I mean, everybody is a little bit weird and stuff. So it's okay, it's cool. Like, you know, we are cool. I think. <laughs> we are not selling the best burgers. We are not selling the best food in Singapore. I think the best burgers is something that is with memory. The kind of food that you remember at 3 a.m. in the morning. So to me, that is the food that we are selling. So I will feel that at the end of the day, I can't please everybody's taste bud, but I can generally know that if the food is good, you remember it. Social Outcast is a different business concept from the start. Uh, we are different in terms of customer is not always right. We always have haters, that's for sure. If it's a valid criticism, definitely we'll take it with open arms. It helps us to improve on where we lack. We also got criticism for being non muis certified. We are Muslim owned. All our food is halal and of course I do the due diligence to check for the halal cert from our suppliers and so on and so forth. We have people coming in and telling off my staff, he's a Chinese, he's an Indian, he should not be working for a Muslim establishment, then unfortunately, these are not our clientele. The truth is, my food is halal and we have a boundary in terms of racial prejudice and religion prejudice. As long as they are honest workers, they are working for me, we serve halal food, that is my due diligence to check whether all my food or my suppliers are halal. We can't guarantee that we'll take a Muay certified uh, certification later on in life, but my only advice to Muslims who wants to eat and they are in doubt, don't. Truth is, uh, the onus is on us, but I can guarantee you we serve halal good food. So why exactly coffee shop? I guess it actually is our unique point. We are the social outcast, so we just want to do things that is different. The question is always, why not? Why should we be another typical normal burger joint? The key thing is, not now, then, when. Somebody will do it. Why not we do it first? Basically, for social outcasts, we will be changing menus every six months. Two to three months from now, we're gonna line up smoked spare ribs. After smoked spare ribs, six months later, we're gonna change it up to duck. And hopefully, after duck, will be dry aged beef. So, we're going to come with a new, stronger menus, products that people won't expect us to serve at hawker centers. I think life is short. Time waits for no one. When you're old, 
you may have the time, you may have the money, but you don't have the energy. If you have business plans, you have things you want to do, uh, most importantly, plan it up, have an exit plan, and take that leap of faith. <laughs>